Now I don't think there has ever been a car that has so many different rivals. The Citroen C5X fits into so many categories that it has so many rivals. It fits into the hatchback category, SUV category, saloon category and estate category and even pushing it to executive car category. Can the Citroen C5X do all of those things? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone. Welcome to Everything Cars and More. Let's review the new Citroen C5X. So to start with I am going to talk about what cars rival this car. You have the Peugeot 308 and Vauxhall Astra then you have the Volkswagen ID4, ID5, Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Skoda Enyaq. You can also include the Volkswagen Passat and Passat Estate, Vauxhall Insignia and we will throw in the Audi A4 Saloon and A4 Avant as well as the BMW 3 Series and 3 Series Estate and maybe the 5 Series at a push. So, basically any car that is a family car or an executive car it will rival. Let's have a look at the design to make sure that it can rival all of these cars. So looking at the front it is definitely a looker. To start with we have an X-type design that is on all new Citroens. The top part of the X holds the very thin LED daytime running lights and the lower part holds the main matrix headlights. Now this design is very French but I do like it if I have to be honest. It is better implemented than the C4 design which is similar but not as good. Lower down we have this big central air vent with an interesting pattern as well as some more chrome. On the bonnet we have two indents which I do like. Talking of the bonnet let's look under it and talk about what engines you get. So to start with there is two pure petrol engines and one plug-in hybrid model. For the petrol engines you can get the well-known 1.2 litre 128 bhp engine or a 1.6 litre 178 bhp engine both only available with an 8-speed automatic. The plug-in hybrid model is also well known. It uses the same 1.6 litre 178 bhp engine but has an electric motor attached to make 222 bhp. This has a range of 31 electric only miles which is okay. Personally I would go for the base 1.2 litre as it is affordable and it does feel quite nippy. Prices for the Citroen C5X start at £26,490. Looking at the side I don't know what it is supposed to look like. To me it looks like an estate, a saloon and a SUV all in one. It is definitely different but what I like about it is that it is minimalist and quite sleek which makes it look quite sporty which I do like. You can also get 19 inch wheels. I do like this color though. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and whilst you are at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's move round the back. So at the back again it is a looker but this is where the problem lies of rivaling so many cars. To me it does not look like what it wants to be. We have a big lip spoiler to make it look like a saloon. We have a big tailgate opening to make it look like an estate and the overall design looks like an SUV with the cladding. Anyway let's gloss over that, the overall design is very modern and unique. We have the new Citroen logo and central Citroen badging. We also have the X tail lights just like the front design and although it is minimal I don't think it could handle much more design elements. So opening the boot you can clearly see that it has an estate influence because of the low load entry and load lip. This boot is also huge at 541 liters with the seats up and with the seats down it is a whopping 1640 liters. Put that into perspective and the Mustang Mach-E has 502 litres whilst the BMW 3 Series Touring has 500 litres but the 5 Series Touring has 560 litres. Citroen even quote that you can fit a washing machine in it. One touch I do like is that you have some runners on the boot floor as well as a parcel shelf that is like what you would find on estate cars. Right let's test the back seats out. Before we even get in the front of the car you can get an idea of just how luxurious the car is. To start with we have loads of Paloma leather which is very luxurious. It has a nice design and I also like the silver line and blue top which I usually would say to not get a blue interior. Sitting in the back there is enough legroom as expected and headroom is not that bad but I would like a tiny bit more. You can sit three in the back but there is a hump on the floor. You do get an armrest isofix points behind some zipped parts as well as some air vents. Right, let's get in the front to see if it is as good as the executive rivals. So inside at the front of the C5X it really does feel very premium. We have premium metal finished, soft premium leather and some very nice switchgear with actual climate controls. 
The steering wheel is not fully round but it has physical buttons that are easy to use and it has premium leather and a bit of chrome to make it look more expensive. We do get a digital instrument cluster but it is small and does not show a lot of information. We do get though a 12-inch infotainment system. This is the same software as the 10-inch system you get on the Astra but in this car it seems to be better. Now we do get some piano black material, there is not a lot of it which I am fine with. With what this car has to offer it really does feel like an executive car. So, in my eyes this car was designed to be the car of all cars. A hatchback, a saloon, an estate, an SUV and an executive car. Amazingly Citroen has pulled it off and the C5X is great in all of these categories. It has the looks and the luxurious feel inside. This is the go-to car if you want a 5 Series but a French SUV estate hatchback version. If you like this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe and whilst you are at it, hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new video comes in. See you in the next video.